Hey, it's Doug, one of the Brothers of Bargains from right here at Ride Time. Beside me is an insanely awesome 2017 Tesla Model X. It is a 75D trim level. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my top seven things, but actually my seventh, I deduct half a point. So it's my top six and a half things I love about this Tesla. Let's check it out. The number one favorite thing about this car that I love is the doors. The, they call these the Falcon doors that open in the back. So there's actually three ways to open up the Falcon door on this car. Uh, the first one is from the key. These keys are actually mini uh, Model X's, which is very, very neat. All you have to do is double tap the side that uh, looks like the window of the car. The rear door will open. And then follow me inside. I'll show you there's two spots right here. There's the open and close button, so I'll let you peek in. My kids love these doors. They love going to school and opening them up, but uh, that's the buttons they hit to control them. So all you do have to do is hit it, get out of the way, it will shut. The third and final way to control these is actually from directly inside on the, uh, the massive uh, screen. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Follow me inside. So the third way to control the doors is up here on this massive monitor. These are the Falcon doors up here, driver, passenger, front and rear trunk. So literally all you have to do, go around, click them all, Everything will open up with the touch of a button. Uh, it is very handy for kids. Obviously people getting in and out, or if you're going to pick someone up, I always impress them by hitting the button and the door opens as they're walking close. And then if you go back here to the screen, the last thing is a close all. Just with a click of a button, it actually will shut all the doors. So I've showed you how cool the Falcon doors are and how there's sensors in these doors and a lot of things are automated. One of the things I really, really love about this car uh, that it actually drives me nuts when I get into other cars and it won't do this for me. If I have the keys in my hand, my pocket, as you approach the car, I'm gonna come up to the driver's side. You're gonna see that the car is gonna unlock and the door is gonna open for me. I mean, that is service with, well, without a smile, but I freaking love it. So my second favorite thing I love about this car is the full self-driving capability. I believe when this car came out as a $10,000 option, you may think that's nuts. To me, I almost couldn't drive a Tesla without it. I love it for being stuck in traffic. You know, you're, you do have to keep one hand on the steering wheel. So I'm gonna quickly show you. So you have to wait till like right now that picks up the road lines. All I'm gonna do is to the left of the steering wheel, I'm gonna kick, click the double button or this, the lever twice as I do that. The two blue lines appear. Um, so full self-driving. It has a lot of neat options. Like if I turn the turn signal, car will look to see if there's anyone around and it actually turns for me. Uh, you can set your max speed and then if any car in front of you at the designated length between that you set uh, is going slower than that, the car will actually slower, slow down and monitor it. The number three thing on my list is the white seats. I friggin love them. To be honest, when I ordered this car, I was quite nervous. You know, you hear about white seats. The last thing you ever want is your kids in them. To be honest, the seats look better than they did when the car showed up. I've had my kids back here in car seats. I love it. It's really, really a unique look. The seats actually, forget about them being white. They are super comfortable. I love everything about this interior, but I really, really love the white seats. So the fourth thing that I absolutely love about this car is the rear view camera. There's a couple neat things. It also ties into the, the backup sensors. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just how crystal clear this backup scent or this backup camera is. But the thing I actually love about it, besides being able to see everything in high definition, is that the car actually measures obstacles in centimeters on the display. So now as you're driving on the road, you can't actually turn the rear view camera on. I love this feature. You know, I am driving forward, so I don't necessarily need this, but I do think it's a really cool feature. I actually, most of the time when I'm driving, have this on. The screen is so big that you can still have all the information that you need up here. Um, why not use the bottom half? You know, it's better than a rear view uh, mirror. So number five on my list is the whoopee cushion. So it's, um, it's located on the toy box screen uh, under emissions, which is pretty funny. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, different sounds. You can put people in the back, back to me in the front. I have no idea why it's in the car, but I do think it's pretty funny and that's why I made the list. So the sixth 
thing I love the most about this car is the 17 inch vertical display. You know, there is so much stuff going on in here, but really the idea that you have this massive display to, as I mentioned, turn on the camera or uh, just to see the map as big as it is, you know, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, I really do love it. You know, for music, uh, just the functionality and ease of use is amazing. One thing I do like to show some people and, and show off is the um, the navigation itself. So let's say we wanted to go to uh, Rexall Place in Edmonton. So this is this is my favorite thing. Obviously, if you have a electric car, you have to be able to figure out uh, you know because you don't have gas stations, right? If you go on a long road trip, you can just stop at a gas, get some gas. Charging is going to be a big part of this. So if you look back here at the screen. This is gonna run us through, if I'm going to Edmonton from Winnipeg, it's gonna direct us to every supercharger and it's gonna tell us how long I need to charge them. Total trip time, 20 hours. And yeah, I think that's really cool. It's very important, obviously, that's one thing, like I said, we're gonna to get to in one moment with uh, charging, being able to know where to charge, how long to charge, super useful, super awesome. I love everything about this screen. It's unbelievable and that's why it's the sixth best thing that I love about this car. So now we're going to talk about charging. Uh, charging is an interesting thing. Charging I have is number seven on the list but I'm going to minus half a point in a few seconds just to explain it. Uh, one of the interesting things about driving an electric car is it's called range anxiety. So if you look at the screen here we're currently at 23 percent uh, battery. Um, you know, if you're driving and you have uh, the potential of running out of, out of battery, it totally freaks you out because it's different than your cell phone. Plugging your car into this model in particular, a 75D in 2017, into a 120 volt at home, from a 0% charge to a 90% charge, it's actually gonna take you a little over 41 hours. It's gonna take you 41 hours and 40 minutes. Now, if you go up to the 240 volt, it only goes to 7.9 hours. Now, where we are right now is at the Tesla supercharging uh, superchargers. These will actually charge a car from empty in 0.9 hours to one hour, so it's a lot better. Um, but this is why I do give it a minus a half because you know, for long trips and whatnot, you don't have the ability to pull in and charge, you know, fill up your car and take five minutes out of your time get a full tank of gas and then get back on the road and get another three, four, five, six hundred kilometers to your tank. So we're gonna do a little quick experiment here. It's currently 1219. We're sitting at 27% battery. We're gonna let it run for five minutes at the supercharger. Uh, I will let you know that I've already spent $1.68. So we're starting point will be $1.68. We'll check back in in five minutes and we'll see how much of a bill that I've run up and how much more battery I was able to save by pulling here at the supercharger, which is conveniently located right in the center of the city here at Polo Park. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Let's check back in. We were at 27%, $1.68. Uh, we've spent, my math is correct, $2.52. When we look at this, uh, for charging it from empty, it's, it's about 20 bucks, you know, 15, 20 bucks, I think from my previous experience. The range anxiety is one thing. There definitely is a lifestyle change that comes with driving an electric vehicle. You do have to get used to planning your day, planning your week around uh, charging. Now, of course, this car is gonna be a lot better for the environment. Uh, it is a zero emission vehicle. Um, you are uh, spending considerably less on fuel. Uh, one thing you do have to be cognizant of in, in Canada, in the colder climates, your battery, you're not gonna get quite as long of a range. It's another thing to factor into your, your decision, but uh, uh, for everything else that I've mentioned throughout this video, this is the you know my favorite car I've ever driven. The ride quality, all these really neat options that we went through, one through six, uh, really do enhance your driving experience, and I can't say enough about it, I love it. So those are the seven things I love the most about this car, but like I said, this last one, we had to cut off half a point for the charging. It is something to get used to. I love this car. I haven't really driven too many cars that turns as many heads as this does. And to be completely honest, I did pick six things. I could have picked 412 things. And the truth is, I only know a fraction of what this car does. It's like driving a big phone, right? And there is some learning curve that goes into when you switch to a new model or 
a new brand. You know, you hear all the time people talking from going from an iPhone to a Samsung. There is a learning curve. There definitely is a learning curve, but I'll, for me, it's gonna be very tough for me to go back to anything else. So thanks for checking out the video. If you're watching us on Facebook, smash that like button. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to us, follow us for, for some more great content. And heck, if you want this car to come in before it's gone, hopefully I'll see you at the store. Thank you.